So question one, part A, describe the difference between longitudinal and transverse waves. Um, nice, nice one to start with. We should be talking and saying that uh, longitudinal uh, have oscillations that are parallel. to the energy, to the travel, uh, to the direction that the energy moves and transverse are perpendicular. Okay, part B. A loudspeaker emits a sound wave. A microphone is connected to an oscilloscope. The trace produced on the oscilloscope, uh, on the screen of the oscilloscope, due to the sound wave, is shown in Figure One. The vertical Y sensitivity of the oscilloscope is set to 10 millivolts per division, and the horizontal time base is set to 0.5 milliseconds per division. Determine the amplitude of the signal displayed on the oscilloscope. The amplitude is defined as being the maximum displacement from the equilibrium position, so that would be zero. So we need to count up. We've got one, two, three, four divisions up there. So four times 10 millivolts per division gives me an answer of 40 millivolts. Part two. Uh, the frequency f of the sound wave is the same as the frequency of the signal shown in figure one. Determine the frequency. What I need to know here is that the frequency is equal to one over the period of the wave. And the period is time for one complete cycle, which is one, two, three divisions there. So, so the period is going to be three divisions at 50 milliseconds per division, so that's going to be 150 milliseconds, and the frequency is going to be 1 over that, so 1 over 3 times 50 times 10 to the minus 3. is 6.7 hertz. So we know that the frequency from our last one is 6.6667 that was on the calculator and we've got to calculate the wavelength so this is and we're given the speed of sound so we know that V equals F lambda, so lambda will equal V over F, which gives me 330 divided by 6.667, which comes in my calculator 49.5, so it's two significant figures that would be 50 meters. The output from, uh, from the loudspeaker is adjusted so that the intensity of the sound wave at the microphone is a quarter of its original value. The controls on the oscilloscope are not altered. Describe and explain how the signal displayed on the oscilloscope will be different from figure one. So here we've got trash in the room and a guitar behind me but here we go with we've got um, figure one <clears throat> uh, we need to know that the intensity is proportional to the amplitude squared so if we want to reduce the intensity 
to be a quarter. That means we need um, the amplitude squared. We also need to come down by a quarter. So if I reverse this, and I can see that if I take the square root of this, so my, my amplitude is proportional to the square root of the intensity. If the intensity is now a quarter, the amplitude square root of i over 4. So the amplitude needs to be divided by the square root of 4, which is 2. So I would halve my amplitude. So if we look on here, I've got four divisions going up. So now I would then go to two divisions. Not very well drawn at all. So the amplitude will reduce. To half of its value and the amplitude before was 40 milli volts so now the amplitude is now going to be 20 millivolts.